Hello everyone, Paul with High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the Asus F1 A75V Pro motherboard. This is built for the new Lynx platform from AMD, which is a Lano processor, which has both video and CPU on the same die, so it's they're calling it an APU. As you become familiar with with the Asus motherboards, it does have div DigiVRM, EPU, and TPU. Basically, the EPU is your energy saving, your TPU is for your auto overclock. And if we go down to the bottom, it shows DigiVRM, EPU, TPU, the UEFI BIOS, something that we've seen on higher end Asus motherboards, and that they're also offering on their lower end and of course display port. Of course this AMD chipset A8 Vision and it also has E2 Vision which is basically the Vision engine so you could use your CPU and GPU at the same time to increase your experience while you're computing and of course it's Windows 7 ready. If we turn the box around and look at the back it shows you some of the uh, features of the motherboard, some of the features of what's included with the motherboard such as AI Suite 2, your BIOS, your EPU and TPU. So let's go ahead and open it and the first thing that we'll see is the motherboard which is on top. Now I'm going to take the motherboard out at this time and let's go ahead and look at the accessories real quick because there's actually not as many accessories as they would normally put in and it'll be quicker to just get them out of the way. So, we do have an I.O. port, or an I.O. plate, I'm sorry. And of course, which I really like about the Asus motherboards are, this is actually a plug, so you can plug in your, your external case uh, connectors for your power and your reset switch, etc. And it goes right into the motherboard so you don't have to worry about finding it on those little uh, pins inside the motherboard when it's in your case. Plug it into there, just plug it right on and you're fine. And of course it has two SATA connectors. A user's guide and of course inside the user's guide is always the DVD-ROM which contains all your drivers and software needs. So let's go ahead and look at the motherboard itself. We'll take it out of its anti-static bag and since this is a new processor I went ahead and left the pro uh, put a processor on to show you. Um, this is the new APU, it's 32 nanometers, it's 905 pins, socket F1, as you can see, something that's changed with AMD, it used to be a box around the socket. There's actually just two plates right now. What we have here is two heat sinks connected by a heat pipe, which is uncommon for a board of this caliber. I mean, normally when we're looking at $130 motherboards, we really don't see as much put into a motherboard. But you have very high quality heat sinks on this, which is very good. You have a nice socket, of course, we have the processor in there. If we come over to the top here, we can look at the four pin connector for your uh, heatsink fan. There are four DIMM slots, DDR3 up to 18, 1886. We come over towards the side and we'll go ahead and take a look at that. We have a TPU switch and an EPU switch if you want to just forego the BIOS, etc click either of these it'll set it for your power saving mode which is EPU, TPU which is your auto overclock there is a memo K button which we're very used to seeing on the higher end boards by Asus we have another fan connector 24 pin connector this is actually a SATA 6G uh, as media SATA port and then of course we have the native SATA ports here which is 246 which are AMD native uh, SATA ports. Going to the bottom of the board, of course, we have our front panel connector. We have our USB 3.0 front panel 
uh, connectors here and we have one up on top I'm sorry these are these are regular USB my bad just used to not seeing blue for some reason but this is actually a front panel connector for USB 3.0 up on the top here and then of course this is for your regular USB in your case this is for a uh, display port audio on this side and let's go ahead and look at our connectors here we have two PCIe X1's two PCIe X16's and regular PCI slots coming around to the front side we'll go ahead and look at our ports of course the 8 channel sound your LAN USB 3.0 all the way around we do have eSATA now if you look at this because it has onboard video this processor you're going to get a DVI port VGA port HDMI port and display port with the ASUS motherboard this is your optical output we have a PS2 connector for either our PS2 mouse or keyboard and of course two more USB 3.0 ports coming around to the top of the motherboard I'll flip it upside down you're going to see that this is an 8 pin connector I've reviewed a couple other motherboards from different manufacturers and one thing I noticed is they didn't come with an 8 pin connector they came with a 4 pin connector now we could have the argument oh well it's you know very not a, not a very high powered system and you really don't need the 8 pins but if you are going to throw a little bit of extra volts in there for some juice in order to overclock you might want to have that 8 pins so that I, I consider a plus for this motherboard on the back of course we have our plate and of course these screws here represent the screws that hold up the heat sinks well that has been it and that was our quick look at the Asus F1 a75 V Pro motherboard. We'll see you the next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. Have a good day. Bye bye.